So this is uh, parts, uh, which is part of my ongoing series that I loosely think of as Christopher invents people to play music with him through Zoya. And I'm calling it a macro micro looper because what it does is it uses a clock and random modules to uh, randomly record and, and play back from 10 different loops at any given time. Um, and I'll be honest with you, you might see the CPU fluctuating quite a bit here. That process is pretty CPU dynamic and this patch does occasionally clip as you push the density up. Um, but I really like this patch. It's one I made a couple of months ago and have been um, playing a lot. It's, it's one of my go-to patches and I thought I would share it with people. Uh, I'm sort of hoping um, that when uh, the next round of optimization goes through that this patch is more stable and I can also add a couple of things that I want to do to, to uh, m manipulate um, the, the loops a little bit more in some interesting ways. So um, basically this is like a blown up version of uh, the looping section of Quarkstream. Um, and so each of these random modules is clocked by a common clock, which means all of the loops are related in length. Uh, but, you know, they go into comparators and the amount of time that the comparator spends high, which is what controls the, the recording period of a... Uh, given loop can can be different. So it's not just every given beat there might be a recording. That recording might last longer than a beat because of the relationship that the comparator has to the clock. Um, and the interesting part about that is that with longer loops, lower pitched loops, um, the play command which is linked to that comparator. You see these inverters playing back and forth against the comparators. Uh, <clears throat> the play command um, will sometimes arrive before the loop is finished playing and you'll get looped parts even though these aren't loops. They're play once loops. They're not looped loops and I feel like I've fallen into a terrible uh, C of the word loop. Um, but it means you get uh, both these moments where loops spike through and, and they tend to be higher pitched because the higher pitched loops are shorter. They play for shorter periods of time and then some lower pitched loops will, will catch and they'll keep playing uh, sometimes almost indefinitely. Um, and so it creates a, a nice bed uh, to play over and to play with and you get loops that both uh, you know are, are uh, reiterating themes that you might have played a little while ago and and some that are fluttering into space as you play um, so the controls are, are pretty uh, straightforward there's a the there are 10 loopers but they come in pairs um, but those pairs don't always record at the same time. It's just a, a way to make this pitch and reverse stuff a little bit more accessible because even I don't really want to program 10 loops. Um, so, you know, you can set the pitch for each loop. You can set whether or not it's reversed. Um, the density has to do with, with how likely it is for a loop to record. Um, 
and there's a, a simple reverb light. I, I used a, a ganged control for the front page uh, that controls both the decay and the mix. And it seems to work for me in most cases. If you wanted to separate those controls, uh, you know, finding the, the reverb light is not hard. Um, and then there's a, a mix control, and that's it. The tempo, the, the underlying clock, is determined by tap tempo or MIDI clock. If MIDI clock is present, it will override tap tempo. Um, and that's it. I, I just really like this patch. It's, you know, it, it's a behemoth in terms of, of structure. Um, but it, it's very simple in execution, and, and it's fun to play with. It's it's very good at, at creating um, senses of, of building and tension. Uh, I find particularly when I'm playing my electric piano or the bass, um, which is an instrument that, that you know, uh, the, the higher pitched fills can sort of flesh out. Um, but yeah, that's, that's parts. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it uh, and have fun playing with this program. Thank you.